Hi, everybody. Michael here from Birds Nature, uh, doing another one of our virtual programs for you. Uh, today's program is going to be all about camouflage. So we're going to talk a little bit about camouflage, and then we're going to go through a lot of different examples of camouflage. It's going to kind of be like a game. Uh, we'll show you some pictures. You'll try to find the animal that's camouflaged and guess to see if you can get it correct. Some of these are going to be really easy. Some of these might be a little tougher. Um, before we begin, though, don't forget to check out our website, birchnature.org, our YouTube, or our Facebook. Um, so that's where all of our virtual programs will be, not just this program. So this is going to be about camouflage. Hopefully, you can just barely see the word camouflage on the screen. Um, so camouflage is an animal or plant or any organism's ability to blend in with its background. So um, it's how it blends into its surroundings. So that is what camouflage is. Why do animals camouflage? So um, defense. So if they want to um, hide from an animal or get away from an animal or another organism, so they use it as defense. They use it as stealth. So if they are looking for food, you know, they don't want their prey to see them. And safety. Uh, what if you're a little chipmunk and you're trying to take a nap? You know, you want to make sure that you blend in with your background so that you stay safe while you're taking your nap. So the way this is going to go is there's going to be pictures of animals that are camouflaged. Um, I'm gonna go through these, pause for a second, and then move on to the next. Your job is to find the animal, and then was it easy or hard? So, we'll start out with an easy one. So what do you see in this picture? If you need to pause and take a look a little longer, now would be the time to pause, and that will go for each picture. So. As we're going through this presentation, um, if you need longer to look at the picture, just pause the video and then continue. So what do you see in this picture? Was it easy or was it hard to find? And there we go, we have our owl. So blending into the tree bark so that when it's uh, hunting or hiding, or being defensive, um, it blends in with the tree bark so that it can't be seen. Moving on. This one might be a little tougher. If you need a second, pause it now. Was it easy or hard to find the bird right in the middle? How about this one? Again, if you need a second, pause it. What do we see in this picture? Did you find it? Was it easy? Was it hard? It's a walking stick, the type of insect that literally looks like a stick. So now a little more challenging. Again, if you need to pause to look at it, I would do that now. Did you find it? Was it easy? Was it hard? Did you? Do you still not know what it was? So here we have a snake. Would not want to walk through the woods and come across that. Look at that camouflage. It's really hard to see. How about this one? What do you see in this picture? Did you find it? Was it easy? Was it hard? There we go. An insect right there in the center. How about this one? Not only what do you see, but how many do you see? Did you find them? How many did you find? Was it easy? Was it hard? Here we have two moths. Two moths. Going uh, a brown one on the right and a grayish one on the left. How about this one? I get mixed uh, answers on this one. Some say it was easy, some say it was hard. Did you find it? 
What do you think? A bird right there in the grass. All right. <clears throat> now that you've had some practice, I'm going to go through these slides rather quickly. So if you want, get a piece of paper, number them from 1 to 17. There's 17 different slides we're going to view. And in each slide, I want you to try to answer three different questions. Name the animal. Are there any other animals in the picture? And was it easy or hard to find? This is supposed to go kind of quickly, so I'm only going to give three to five seconds per slide for you to look at. And here we go. What do you see in this picture? Write your answer. There it is, we have a frog. Slide number two, do you see it? Pause if you need more time. Take a second. And we have a hawk. Look at that hawk, right in the middle, blending in. All right. Slide three. What do you see? All right, write your answer or talk about it. What did you find? A rodent. You see his tail and his ears. All right, this one might be a little harder. Do you see it? If you need more time, pause the video. So, did you get it? Write it down or talk it out. It was a gecko. His eyes are down below. You can see his tail up top. Gecko, look at how well he blends in. You could walk right up to that gecko and you would not see it if you didn't know what to look for. How about this one? Slide number five. What do you see? Do you see it? All right, what do you think? Write your answer, talk about it. Quail. Right here. All right, what do you see in this one? Slide number six. Did you see it? If you did, what did you see? Red fox. Hiding in the brush. All right. How about this one? Give you another second. And did you find it? If so, what did you find? A leopard hiding in the tall grass. He's really well hidden. How about this picture? What do you think you see? All right. Did you get it? Wolf. There's the wolf hiding by the tree. All right, how about slide number nine? What do you see? What did you find? Did you find it? All right, what do you think? Did you find it? Do you need to go um, back a couple seconds? What do you think? A fish. You can see his tail. You can see his eyes, the two little black dots on the left-hand side. So a fish. Slide number 10. What do you see? Do you see it? Did I put in a picture with no animal? What do you think? Did you find it? Did you see it? A bird. That is a woodcock. What do you think? He was really well hidden, wasn't he? Or she. How about this one? 
What do you see? And I'll give you a hint. How many do you see? All right, did you figure it out? Did you see them? Did you find them? Fish. A bunch of little fish hiding in the coral. All right, slide number 12. What do you see? All right, did you see it? Did you find it? What was it? It was a grasshopper. Good job. Everybody's doing so good right now. All right, how about this one? You find it? Do you see it? So what do you think? Did you find it? Were you able to identify it? That is a sparrow, a bird in the middle. What do we have here? A bunch of grass, some cattails. What do you see? Do you, can you find the animal? Can you find the camouflaged animal? Did you? Did you find it? What do you think? What was it? It was another bird, an American bittern, looking like a tall piece of grass himself. All right, how about this one? This one reminds me of uh, Magic Eyes, where you stare at it and it pops out. What do you think? All right, did you see it? Were you able to identify it? What do you think it was? It was a spider. He's really blending in with those little sand particles, little rocks. How about this one? What do you think? Take a good look. All right, if you were a hunter, you might have seen that one. What do you think? Did you get it? It was a deer. You see his antlers, you can see his face. He's hiding in the leaves. And what's amazing about this is he's brown and white, but hiding in green leaves. So the colors don't always have to match for it to be camouflaged, like in a lot of the other pictures. Last but not least, last picture. Take a good look. Did you find it? What do you think it was? It was a praying mantis. See him? All right. So how did you do? Were you able to get them all? Did any of them stump you really hard? So let us know. Send us a Facebook message or comments. Um, if you find any of these things or you find a good example of a camouflaged animal, take a picture, uh, send it to us or post it on Facebook and let us know not only how you did with this, but let us know as you're outside, as you're doing things, did you find any other camouflaged animals out there? So there's the answer key um, of the last 17 animals. So um, now you can see how camouflage works uh, and how important it is for the animals. So not only just um, predators and, you know, but prey, um, it could mean the difference of an animal living or not. So camouflage, super important. Um, and we had some really good examples of it. So that's the end of the presentation. Uh, thank you for joining us. Hopefully you were able to find them all. Um, if not, no worries. Uh, that was the point. Some animals are just really, really good at camouflage or blending in with their surroundings. Uh, check out all of our other programs on our Facebook, on our YouTube channel, and we'll continue to release more programs. Um, thank you and stay healthy and enjoy the rest of your day.